three hinge arch. A arch hinged at abutments A and B and also hinged at top point C is called three hinged arch. The distance between ends A and B is called span of the arch. Point C is called crown of the arch. The height of hinge C from level of abutments is called rise of the arch. It is applicable only when abutments A and B are at the same level. When loaded with external loading, three hinge arch produces vertical reactions VA, VB, and horizontal thrusts HA, HB. At ends, horizontal thrusts HA and HB are same for entire vertical loading on three hinge arch. Applying equilibrium equation of summation of moments at ends should be zero. The vertical reactions VA and VB can be calculated for three hinged arch with abutments at the same level, equating bending moment at ground C to zero from either end. The horizontal thrust is determined. The bending moment at any point. Let us take a point at horizontal distance x and vertical distance y from abutment A is equal to beam moment minus thrust moment. Let a three-hinged parabolic arch is loaded with a point load W1 at a distance A from from end A. Mx equals VA into X minus W1 into X minus a minus H into Y here B moment equals VA into X minus W1 into X minus a thrust moment equals H into Y Analysis of three hinged arch follows these steps. 1. Determination of geometry using equation of parabola, circle, etc. The leftover geometrical features can be determined easily. 2. Calculation of horizontal thrust and vertical reactions at supports. Let us first calculate horizontal thrust H. For truly vertical loading, abutments may be at same levels or not. The horizontal thrust is same for both supports and can be determined with equating bending moment at ground C to zero from either end. Now calculate vertical reactions VA and VB for truly vertical loading. Case 1. Abutments are at the same levels. The vertical reactions can be determined using equilibrium equations of summation of moments at ends should be zero. Case 2. Abutments are not at the same levels. The vertical reactions can be determined by calculating bending moments at ground C from both the sides and equating them to zero. Three, determination of maximum positive and negative bending moments and their locations. The bending moment at any point. Let us assume span AC is loaded with a point load W1 
at a distance a from end a let us take a point at horizontal distance x and vertical distance y from abutment a is equal to beam moment minus thrust moment mx equals va into x minus w1 into x minus a minus h into y here beam moment equals va into x minus w1 into x minus a thrust moment equals h into y by equating differentiation of bending moment equation to zero the location x of point of maximum positive and negative bending moment can be determined dmx by dx equals zero putting back value of x in bending moment equation the maximum coordinate of bending moment is calculated For complete course and step-by-step -step illustration, please subscribe full course on Structural Analysis and Design App. Also subscribe YouTube channel Matrix Digital Solutions. Thanks for watching.